Day two in Hong Kong, big day ahead. First thing today is I'm going to Art Basel with AP to check out some art and some watches. Later on, we're gonna go check out the supercar scene in Hong Kong, and then after that, we're finishing off with a party. Lots of watches, lots of cars, lots of art. Let's hit it. I will take off the hands and plus the dial. That, yeah. that, that's the movement you get, okay? And, uh, and here is, um, is a movement uh, 10 times bigger. So we can actually see all of the gears and uh, the lever working together to yeah. make sure to indicate the right uh, dates. Imagine all of this spring that you have here, mm -hmm. they're all touching apart, okay? Yes. And for the friction to be the, the best way possible, it needs to be polished. Okay. So we have to polish this all by hand and we're gonna use the very small vise to hold the spring and just touch the top, the top of it to make sure that it's uh, completely polished. Wow. When you have a watch back for service, mm -hmm. what kind of process what does we it do, go through? So we disassemble the, the watch completely, wow. as well as the case. And you have to know that on a, on a mechanical watch, it's just like a uh, motor car, like yeah. uh, the motor needs oil. Yeah, uh, yeah. And this is something that we like to say, cars, we say when you drive, you have to do it every year a service. Yes. Uh, uh, the watch is more like five to seven years. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the process, so we disassemble the, the watch case completely, the, yeah. the movement too. Okay. We're gonna clean it uh, at least two times to make yeah. sure that all the oil, the old oil is, is yeah. gone. Cool. And then we're gonna reassemble it with all the oilings nice. and uh, make sure that everything is set up correctly. And of course, for a watch like this requires quite I'm quite sure. more time uh, yeah. because of the complexity of the, of the movement. Yeah. Thanks so much. Hey, you're welcome. So, as mentioned earlier, I've got a bit of a hectic day, so I haven't got too long to spend at Art Basel, but it's been fantastic. The best bit for me has been speaking with the incredibly knowledgeable dude from Audemars Piquet. It's not every day you get to see inside such a fantastic watch. And just like being at a car factory, it gives you such a great understanding and appreciation for just the amount of engineering and skill that goes into making these wonderful things. Anyway, speaking of cars, I've now got to run over to the other side of Hong Kong Island to pick up on some supercar culture. find myself in another 675 LT with Bobby. Hi guys. So we've met like two hours ago. Yes we did. We reached out on Instagram to Supercars of Hong Kong. Right. And the community here is amazing. Everyone reached out. I'm already finding myself in a passenger in a supercar here. And we're now gonna join up with some guys that we've just had dinner with. Yep. For a nice cruise around town. And these guys are gonna show me what supercar culture and lifestyle is all, all about in this awesome city. Wow, 
by the way, I mean, as much as we are like McLaren fanboys right now, yeah. did you hear that speciali? <laughs> so cool! The Novatec speciali. The R8 also has an exhaust, right? Yes. The R8 Ooh. has the tubi. So R8's running tubi, we got speciali with Novatec. So we are in the spider, so my hair has exploded. But it doesn't matter. This is such a great night. Luckily, I lost all my hair when I started in the UK. <laughs> the perfect car for you, exactly. man. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I love? I mean, I've been very fortunate lately that I've got to spend some time with other uh, LT owners. Yeah. And it's really great being able to share the experiences of LT owners with these guys because a lot of people think I'm exaggerating when yeah. I see this car. No, he's not. I'm no. not, right? It is no. it's just incredible. What I love is even though a very fortunate position that I get to drive one of these cars often, every time I get in one, I'm still shocked. I'm still surprised at the yes. impact that it has on me. Yeah. And I would say, I would say maybe even more so when you're a passenger because you're not as braced for the acceleration. Yeah. And you don't have to concentrate on driving. Exactly, I can just enjoy it. Oh man, Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong nightlife is so cool. Special request just for everybody interested in this. Rev time. Dude, that is ridiculous. <laughs> I never I never hear it in person. It sounds so good. I mean, what a fantastic experience. My first time in Hong Kong, just reached out. I just put some messages on Instagram. The community out here is so passionate. And here I am, I'm two days in town, immersing myself in the car culture here. Everyone is so friendly, so passionate. Earlier on, these guys took me for an amazing Chinese meal. And I felt like we'd been friends for, for years. Just car people have their own language and we all just click and it's just such a fantastic example that no matter where you go in the world if you're a petrol head you're both speaking the same language and it's just been a fantastic night i've got to say a massive thank you to bobby for letting me jump into his beautiful new 675 lt spider following that oh everyone's starting up again following that Novitech Speciali earlier. Well, it makes me want another one. It's so beautiful. But how cool is this? Look, everyone's just lining up here. Beautiful peak views. With this stunning scenery over there. Now, unfortunately, they do turn the neon lights off in town at 11 o'clock in Hong Kong. So I've managed to capture some photos of it and I showed you some views earlier. But up here is just the most stunning scenery. Also, got to say a massive thank you to Supercars of Hong Kong. If you haven't followed those guys already, go to their Instagram, give them a, a big follow because they've organized all of this, especially for me tonight. So I've got to say a massive thank you to those guys. And I think the only thing left to do now is wind our way back down in this awesome lineup of cars. Okay, jet lag kicking in hard. However, video is about to drop live of today, which it's taken some planning because the timing is, is all out. So I think it's about to drop at like 10.30 UK time, in which case you'll have already seen it. Uh, but tonight's cool because I'm out here for the main event. So if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I was out here with Audemars Piquet. And tonight is the AP party. Let's hit it. Typically running late, but despite the fact that I'm possibly in the most digital sphere going, taking the business cards tonight. By the way, what do you think of the business cards? The light in here is terrible, but these are actually like iridescently ultraviolet 
Mega Pop. Reason being, they're like on brand colors, sure, but when you go to events like this, there's always loads of people and everyone's handing out business cards and stuff. And normally they just blend in. This bad boy guarantees a standout. So uh, yeah, taking a big watch of those, you never know. Also, order more PK chocolates too. Mmm, save those for later. Gotta go. Okay. What do you recommend? Lang Kwai Fa? Lang Kwai Fa? You know Lang Kwai Fa? Nope.